In this video, we will see secant method. And secant method is used to uh, find the minimum of unimodal function. So let us see how to find the minimum of the unimodal function. The basic concept is that uh, through different secants or through successive secants, we have to find the uh, minimum of that uh, unimodal function. So how to do? Uh, so it will be the idea will be same uh, like Newton Epson method and the formula will be same only little deviation is there uh, we have to uh, change the second order derivative that we will see so before that we will see the working formula of <coughs> Newton's new method or Newton Epson method so I can write it as NR method okay so for NR method what is the working formula working formula will be N so xn plus 1 will be xn minus f dash xn divided by f double dash xn okay so now what to do we have to change the second order derivative or uh, this f double dash xn if i use secant method so then what will happen the changes will be like this uh, the f double dash xn i can write it as f dash xn minus f dash xn minus delta x divided by xn minus xn minus delta x so if we replace this uh, formula or if we replace this f double dash xn through this formula then we will have the second method so sometimes it is uh, written as f double dash xn equal to f dash xn minus f dash xn minus 1 divided by xn minus xn minus and both the case things will be same uh, but here if I write delta x delta x means the uh, small increment uh, like if we have the number like this and this is x n minus uh, this is x n minus delta x this is x n this is x n plus uh, this x n plus 1 or uh, it will be x n plus delta x ok and so using that concept we have to uh, find the uh, derivative and again also we can uh, apply the uh, central difference formula to get the f dash value so what will be the f dash value f dash xn will be f of xn plus delta x minus f of xn minus delta x that divided by 2 times delta x so we can also use this formula uh, okay and we can find f dash xn so that is the idea of this method at one point you have to remember that whenever you are finding the value we have to uh, see that uh, the important condition is that f of xn into f of xn minus 1 will be less than 0 this is the derivative of this should be less than 0 ok that means if we have initially two points x0 and x1 then we have to check this one f dash x0 into f dash x1 that should be 0 and throughout all the um, iteration we have to check this one okay that is the uh, main criteria and after that we will apply this formula and uh, this is the working formula but uh, we have to replace this value f double dash xn through this so if i write properly it will be x n plus 1 equal to xn minus what f dash xn divided by what will be the value f of 
xn minus f of xn minus 1 divided by xn minus xn minus 1. So, this will be the formula. Okay. That you have to remember. So, if we have to remember this formula uh, to get successive minimum value through secant method. 